Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at layer masks. Um, a very common tool in Photoshop and a very powerful tool in Photoshop. So what a layer mask lets us do is basically combine two images together. So this example that I've got is we're going to mask out this sky to bring in this sky. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is basically stack these two images on top of each other. So the easiest way to do this is we grab our move tool and we just simply click and drag one of our images and then again click and drag and place it over the top of the other one. Okay, we can close this down now because what we've done is we've created two layers. We've got one on top of the other um, and our goal is to mask out this sky so we can see the sky that's underneath and that's where layer masking comes in. So to start with a layer mask, what we need to do is we're going to click on our top layer and then down in the bottom right hand corner is this little square with a circle. If we click on that, that then creates our layer mask. So you should see this little white box appear. That means our layer mask has been created. Okay, for a layer mask to work, essentially what we're going to do is black out the parts of this image that we don't want or, or black out parts of this layer that we don't want so we can see what's underneath. Okay, so that's essentially what a layer mask does. It, it lets us paint out certain parts of the top layer to see what's underneath. All right, so first thing we need to do is grab our brush tool. Make sure we have a black brush because we have a white layer. We want a black brush and what we're going to do is basically just black out the top part of this layer. So with a black brush, um, also we want to have our hardness down to zero. Okay, hardness at zero will give us a nice soft brush. So just right click on your mouse um, and just check that your hardness is down at zero. And then with our black brush, we just simply paint over that mask and we're masking out that top layer to reveal what's underneath. And that is how simple it is to mask. So the way I like to think about layer masks is once we've created our mask, the black brush is going to black out that top layer to show what's underneath. Okay. Um, it's probably the easiest way to think about it early on. Rather than trying to think about what reveals and what conceals, the black brush will black out the layer that it's attached to. Okay, so we're basically deleting or erasing what, whatever is on that layer that it's attached to. The black brush is blacking out that layer. So a reason we use a layer mask is if we start to go a little bit too far, okay, um, all we need to do is switch back to our white brush and it basically undoes what we just did. Okay, so just by painting our white brush onto that layer mask, we can undo what we did. Okay, same, if we go too far, we just switch back to a black brush and then we start to black out the bits that we don't want. Okay, so that's the easy way of thinking of layer masks is whatever layer your mask is attached to, the black brush is going to black it out so you can't see it and it will reveal whatever is underneath that layer. Okay, so that's it for this video, nice and simple. Um, if you did like it, please leave a like. Uh, feel free to subscribe as we will be doing more videos. And again, most of my videos will be aimed at beginners, people just starting out with Photoshop. Um, and I like to keep things simple and effective. So that's it for this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.